Hey guys, welcome to SUNY Optometry. I'm Will. I'm Allison. And I'm Annie. We're all first year as part of class of 2025. So the series of videos is going to highlight our experience here at SUNY Optometry. This is content made by students, just for students. So if you like what you see, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned and keep on watching. We'll see you later. Bye. First year in IS, do you mind if I shadow you today? Yeah, of course not. She's here for a follow-up, so we're just checking her pressures today. We're gonna grab a visual field on her. She's in imaging right now. And then when she comes back in, we'll do a quick look at her optic nerves and then get her out of here. So today's a pretty quick appointment. So I'm with Evelina today, and she so graciously let me shadow her during IS. Do you have anything you'd like to share that sets SUNY apart? Yeah, absolutely. So because we're right in the heart of Manhattan, we do have a pretty diverse patient base. So some of the diseases you may have only seen in textbooks, we have all the time. So I'm definitely grateful for the amount of exposure I've had. Um, I feel prepared to go to the real world. All right, cool. So thank you again for letting me shadow. And I just got a report back to Dr. Shuddenberg, my IS doctor now, but I'll see you guys later. Hi. So how was last week? Wonderful. <laughs> Sometimes patients will turn to you when the intern leaves the room and they'll still ask you everything that you know they are concerned about, not realizing that you're first year, which is fine, because you're um, what's affected in retinitis pigmentosa. Okay, so RP, pale waxy disc, arteriolar attenuation, and then this is called bone spicule pigmentation. But the reason this disease still exists today, people have kids. Pass on the gene, the gene got passed on to the next generation already before you realized it. And that has perpetuated this. Yes. Thank All right, you. guys, thank you. Oh, quick, before I forget, I will be, so don't sign on to my Zoom, please, because I will be doing interviews. I have 15 interviews this Friday. So, the internet Oh, yeah. You should have brought it in a sweater. You guys are going to stop. We just came back from Integrative Seminar. So basically what Integrative Seminar is, is it's a class that you take your first and second year at SUNY, where each week you go to a different clinic and observe doctors or upperclassmen who are now seeing real patients. And after you observe, you come back to the classroom and go through grand rounds with your doctor and other classmates, what you observed, and tie in what you've been learning in the classroom. Yeah, so this week um, I was in the ocular disease clinic, specifically the retina clinic, and I was able to see a really cool case of retinitis pigmentosa, which is a genetic disease that does lead to eventual blindness. And something really cool that I learned was that um, because we see so many different patients here at SUNY from so many different backgrounds, um, there are uh, cultural uh, factors that tie into like the pathology of diseases. So with retinitis pigmentosa, it is more prevalent in um, geographic locations or um, cultures where co-sanguinuity is more prevalent. Um, so I thought that was super interesting and I was really glad I was able to see that. So today I was in the glaucoma clinic and I saw a patient that came in for an SLT and SLT is a treatment to manage glaucoma. There might not be a cure for glaucoma but SLT and um, other treatments such as eye drops can help manage it. SLT is more of an invasive treatment option compared to eye drops but eye drops you would have to purchase them multiple times so this allows the patient to kind of choose their treatment option. Um, I think SUNY is really cool because um, there's so much diversity in the students, the doctors, as well as the patients. So you're really getting um, different perspectives in what you're learning day to day in the clinic. Yeah, so I think IS is a really integral part of our clinical education and first and second year. Even though you don't have that much experience in optometry school yet, it's just really cool to be able to kind of get your feet wet in terms of what to expect in the clinic. And yeah. 
Yeah, and it's also a good way to introduce yourself to the clinics here because as a third and fourth year, you're actually going to be working first-handedly with the patients. As a first and second year also, it's a good way to tie in what you've been learning in your clinical optometry class and all the skills there and seeing how they are being used in the actual clinic and with real patients. So with CO, that is our lab course that we take in first and second year um, and we'll be doing a video just giving you guys a sneak peek of the skills that we've learned so far and just how it works. Keep an eye out for that. But yeah, this was IS today and um, we'll see you guys later.